immediately afterward, while dismissing the crowds, Jesus insisted that his disciples get, on, get into the boat and proceed him to the other side. When he had sent them away, he went up to the mountain to pray, remaining there as the evening drew on. Meanwhile, the boat, already several hundred yards away from the shore, was beginning to be tossed around by the wave by a strong head of wind. After about three in the morning, the, the, he came walking towards them on the lake. When the disciples saw him, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said. It's a ghost! It's a ghost. Ah. Ah. And in fear, they began to cry out. Jesus hastened to, re to, re them, to reassure them. Get a hold of yourselves, it is I, do not be afraid. Get a hold of yourselves, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter spoke up and said, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come across the water. Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come across the water. Come, he said. Come. So Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water, moving towards Jesus. But when he perceived how, about how strong the wind was, he became frightened. He began to sink and cry out, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Jesus at once stretched out his hand and caught him. How little faith you have, he exclaimed. How little faith you have. Why did you falter? Why did you falter? Once they had climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat began to show him reverence, they declaring, Be beyond doubt, you are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. 